Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I'm gonna review and test out one of these new Bidax 401s. Also, we're gonna be giving away a Bidax 401 today in this video. So, I'm just gonna announce that right now. All you guys gotta do, just comment down below your thoughts on these little tiny Bitcoin miners, like they're mainly meant for solo mining, and if you are in USA or Canada. Okay, and then I will choose the winner after about 24 hours after this video is uploaded. And so thank you to BitcoinMerch.com for sending these to Bidax401 Supras to me, and the power adapters are included as well. I'm running one on 120 volt power right now, and we're gonna just turn it on and set it up in this video and just talk about these. I know a lot of people do like these little tiny miners for at home to try and like solo mine Bitcoin and you know it's basically like a, a lottery play essentially but I do have my reservations about these as a I'd say I'm a you know home to medium sized you know residential miner and I like to buy the you know big boy ASIC miners you know like the S19s or S21s so personally for me I'm not really gonna go out and buy these but really these are gonna be tended towards people who want to have something at home you know can't have have a lot of power these things aren't loud or anything like that they only take like I don't know 10 to 20 watts or something like that we're gonna test it out in this video here later on see how much power this thing takes but yeah just to open up about that early on all right so you may have noticed here I have a piece of cardboard because I don't have the cases for these Bidax Supras so I know online if you had a 3d printer you could 3d print a case for these so that's available I personally don't have a 3d printer so for now you know I hate having this bare you know, PCB just sitting. If I were to have this on metal, I would be very afraid that it would short. And so I think that's like a power phase module at the bottom there. So if that was just sitting on a table like that, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. So temporary, I have it on a piece of cardboard in case you guys are wondering. So next step, okay, I have the power adapter plugged in. I'm gonna plug it in now. And we're just gonna set this up. It's actually incredibly easy. Okay, so it is emitting a SSID which I'm gonna use a phone to connect to this. All right, so it says on there, I don't know if you guys can see it, it says connecting to SSID and then uh, configuration ID, it says bidax underscore DD15. It's probably gonna be different for you, but on now, on my phone, I have to connect to that bidax DD15. So I'm gonna click on it. Okay, it's going to connect to it. Okay, it's just thinking there. Now a web page should pop up. Okay, yeah, there we go, perfect. Okay, so it's going to the web GUI of the Bidax here. Okay, so it's called XOS, that's the web interface for this Bidax, okay, 401. All right, so now I wanna set this thing up, okay? So I wanna go to this button right here, and then we're gonna go at the top left, and then I'm gonna go to settings. Okay, so this is where I wanna enter in my Wi-Fi SSID, okay, my Wi-Fi at my house, so that this could connect to your house Wi-Fi, not, you know, through your phone, which we're doing here. This is just to set up. So enter in your SSID. Then next, you gotta put in your Wi-Fi password. Next, you're gonna want to change your stratum URL here. This is for the mining pool of your choice. So for me, I am gonna go with uh, ckpool. solo.ckpool.org, okay? And then that's gonna be port 333, stratum port 333. Okay, next step is to put in your Bitcoin address, okay? And then you just wanna make sure that you also have the worker name there. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna put 01 at the end their period and then the name okay just to distinguish it on the solo pool and then stratum password which can be anything i'm just gonna put one two three all right and then keep everything else the same and we're gonna hit save okay and it said success save at the bottom okay looks like you can also update the firmware on this thing the website okay so i'm gonna go back here go to dashboard uh, on here and see if it's going to mine now. The expected hash rate should be about 625 giga hash. And you know what? I think we're gonna have to do a reset of this thing. It does say that my pool settings are updated there, but I'm gonna go up to here and just do a restart. So after restarting, it should look like something like this. So it looks like it's already 
it's already mining now okay after restarting it and looking at the power consumption at the wall just to show you guys we're at 17.2 watts okay so that is uh that's pretty good for over 600 giga hash now i want to go in the computer real quick i believe there's a firmware update for this okay so if you guys are having issues um, setting it up there is a how-to guide on bitcoin merch's website bitcoinmerch.com i have a link down below but now just looking at the upgrading the firmware so it looks like there is a new firmware update for these bit axes uh, as of recording two weeks ago okay critical gamma bug fix okay it looks like there's been a couple other firmware bugs that have been fixed over time uh, over the past couple weeks but anyways make sure you download the esp-miner.bin and also the www.bin i download these two files here we're going to go back now to the web gui of the bidax itself so i was able to get the ip address of the machine go onto a computer on the same local network and just go to uh, use a, any browser and then type in the ip if you can find it on your home router or use advanced ip scanner uh, to get the ip address of it now so normally you'll get to the dashboard here it looks like it is mining now 666 giga hash which is cool but let's go to settings here this is where i want to do the firmware update okay so there is the place where you can just click on it to download Okay, there, the GitHub. Now, update firmware. So I already downloaded the ESP bin miner uh, file. I'm gonna go here, uh, click on the ESP bin, this one here. Okay, that's going to upload there. And then there's gonna be one more that I need to uh, update as well, the, the website. So I'm gonna click on this and do the www.bin. Okay, it says it's working and it should be pretty quick should be pretty quick for the update okay uh, that took maybe less than 20 seconds now that should be it i'm going to go back to dashboard let's go to log and it should show that we are now on version 2.2.2 .2. so look at that there we go it works that worked perfect okay we were on the older version before okay so that's how you do the firmware update okay so let's go back out here okay so it's mining after the firmware update successfully this bitax 401 that's pretty cool yeah so the efficiency of this thing i mean at 600 to 650 giga hash at about you know 16.17 watts or so that's that's pretty efficient if i were to compare that to i think if i were to do the math in my head this thing in terms of efficiency does i think between 23 and like 26 joules per terahash which is quite efficient now i know some people may be asking red panda what about those canon avalon nano 3s i don't have one here to showcase but you guys have seen those before on my channel and those ones you know they're not as efficient as these bit axes and also uh, the power consumption on these things are you know 17 watts 16 watts so it's much lower than the avalon nanos which those are almost 130 140 watts on high mode now the price of these things are on bitcoinmerch.com is 150 dollars now that's quite expensive in my opinion because the avalon nano 3s are like 100 bucks 110 120 dollars of course you gotta buy the power supply too so i think overall with shipping it's like 140 150 dollars as well okay for the avalon nano which you get you know four terahash though versus you know 625 650 giga hash so it's neat that these are really you know low power and you know you can put you can literally put this anywhere it, all it needs is just 120 volt power right with this with this adapter here but i wish this thing was a little bit cheaper okay in my opinion just a little bit cheaper now just to talk about the i guess reliability of these types of bit axes it, they are kind of a new thing on the market i mean i've had the first generation bit axe here uh this is the 201 and this guy i uh, it works but it sometimes freezes granted i don't think i've done the firmware update on this so that's probably why but this one still does work then i know that there's also this mars lander okay this mars lander back in the day i know this thing was not a pretty penny as well um almost i think 400 or 500 dollars at one point so definitely this is now outdated 100 percent outdated because this one is a lot better in terms of its hash rate that it can achieve and its price as well so if i were to compare it to the mars lander yeah no i would probably if i had to choose uh, between this or that or the uh, avalon nano 3 
Honestly, I like the Avalon Nano 3 just because of the price. But if this were to come down like another 50, 60, 70 dollars, then I would definitely consider this because it does have, you know, it's pretty small form factor. Granted, it doesn't come with a case, so you do need to invest uh, in a case. Okay, so if I'm when I give this away, this does not include a case. Okay, just to let you guys know, you guys will have to either 3D print or buy one online. I, I'm not quite sure where you can buy the cases online for these. But yeah, I know that there was a Bitcoin block. That that was also found with one of these apparently, which happened I think a month or two ago. Don't quote me on that. I'll post it on the screen here. Somebody found on ckpool.org a, a Bitcoin block with one of these, which is honestly quite rare. So don't expect, uh, if you are wanting to solo mine Bitcoin, don't expect to you know get a Bitcoin block, okay? Not everyone is gonna go get a Bitcoin block, okay? So everyone who's gonna be spending $150 on these things or more with shipping, you know, it, it's it's a gamble. But kind of a good way to think about it, and don't don't quote me on this, but it's like every time, you know, every 10 minutes, a Bitcoin block comes out. So think of it like, you know, spending a, a dollar or two dollars on a lotto ticket every 10 minutes, okay? that That's how a lot of people, you know, swing it with these types of things. Personally, I like higher hash rate stuff, you know, the big boy S21s and such. I'm gonna buy those for Bitcoin mining. But hey, if I need a stocking stuffer or give a gift to a friend, why not, you know, these, could be a great Christmas gift for somebody, why not? But the chances of them finding a Bitcoin block is I think in the multi-millions. Okay, I'll just put the solochance.org on the screen here. A chance of you finding a block with one of these things is, is quite rare, but who knows? That's the fun of it, right? That's the fun of these little uh, lottery uh, play miners, okay? So anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you to bitcoinmerch.com for sending me the bid axe here. Just giving this one away. Okay, so just comment down below your thoughts on these and also if you're in USA or Canada and I will choose the winner after 24 hours. Okay, so I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.